My name is Melissa Terrace. I am a professor at the University of Edinburgh, but prior to that I was a professor at the University of London where I was leading the UCL Centre for Digital Humanities and I became involved with the Transcribed Bentham project right at the start. So that was nine years ago that um, we first put the project together and I have been part of the project from the beginning and I've also I'm continued my involvement with the project even though I moved institutions two years ago. So Jeremy Bentham is one of the leading philosophers and jurists of our modern times. Uh, he was foundational to setting up the legal system in the UK but also Australia and America and he wrote on a great deal of topics. The Bentham project was set up in the 1950s to understand the work of Jeremy Bentham and over a 40 year period they had managed to go through 10,000 of these manuscripts and, and publish some of them and the question was could we use technology to speed that up? Could we digitise the material? And the prime meeting, the first meeting that we had was about digitisation, could we digitise the whole lot? But we're in a state now where you don't get money for digitisation um, and at the time crowdsourcing was just becoming this technique which was being used online. And this is nearly 10 years ago now, right? So crowdsourcing now is very familiar but at the time Crowdsourcing was not being really used at any scale in the library and archive community. Um, and it took nine years to digitise all the manuscripts. They were completed last year. Um, so that was that's a phenomenal achievement in itself. There had been a, a one-year programme prior to the funding bid going in where there had been an archival assessment of the documents and they knew what was vaguely in each box so we knew where the material about the panopticon was we knew where the material about australia was we knew or at least at that box level description so there was a choice made to start off with some of the earlier handwriting which is easier to read than the handwriting when he's in his dotage and his handwriting and his eyesight are starting to go um, so we started off with early handwriting and also the types of subject matter which we knew people would be very interested in, like the Panopticon and Australia. The boxes went online box by box and people were told in the community this is a new box that's gone online so it was a, a, we used the archival box. There's an interesting thing there to say about the relationship between the digital and, and the box still being the, the element by which the navigation worked and the relationship to the physical archive. And, but that was you know, a way of managing, and the way of numbering the manuscripts as well, which is kind of locked into the digital then. So it was, there was a selection mechanism, but it was always the fact that we were going to try and digitise a whole lot 